Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Well, I don't know about you, but where I live, we're in that like gloomy end of winter, not yet spring yet, but it has me craving spring makeup looks desperately. So for me, that just means new makeup, fresh makeup, lighter makeup, lighter applications, lighter shades, just like pretty everything. So that has had me thinking about how I want to transition into my spring makeup. And as luck would have it, that amazing algorithm on YouTube, even though I didn't type anything into it, one day in my suggested videos, a video from a Parisian makeup artist. Her name is Andrea Ali. I will link her down in the box below. And of course, the video that inspired all this. She did a French versus USA makeup. And like that set off a light bulb in my brain. I was like, yes, French women are just like so chic and effortless and beautiful no matter what. And when I think of French women, I don't think of like overly done up faces. And listen, there's nothing wrong with how we do our makeup versus how they do their makeup. It's different. It, that's just all there is to it. Some of us like to be, you know, glamour pusses and some just like a pared down elegance. So the makeup of the chic women of France is inspiring this video today and inspiring me for how I'm going to transition into spring makeup. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in seeing, do me a favor and stick with me. And for those of you who are new to my channel, hello, my name is Jennifer. I hope you will stick with me throughout this video and consider subscribing to my channel. I would love for you to come back and see more of my videos. So a lot of what Andrea talked about in her video was how French women just aren't that into makeup. They just don't care about it. They save their money for fabulous things like Chanel bags. Can you imagine? I could definitely have a Chanel bag if I didn't have all this makeup. Don't tell my husband. So the whole idea that like they're just simpler in their routines is really intriguing to me. So when I went through Andrea's video and I saw all the products that, that you know these French women use, I was like, that's it? Are you kidding me? So one of the things is they don't use sunscreen and I'm like, mm, I need to use sunscreen. Now that I am like in it fully, I just can't give it up for the sake of makeup. So I do have sunscreen on my face. Now, the next thing she said is that they really don't wear any foundation. They will wear a little bit sometimes. And she used the new Makeup Forever HD foundation. Now I was unable to get that because it is sold out everywhere. So I'm going to use my one of my current favorites is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin because it does have a very minimal natural finish. Since I have it, I might as well use it. Now, using one pump is going to be plenty for my entire face because they use almost nothing. And as a matter of fact, she said that they don't even use brushes or sponges. They just use their fingers. And you know how I feel about using my fingers for my foundation. But because I'm respecting French women and how they do things today, I'm going to use my fingers. So here we go. Now, like I said, I'm just going to use a little bit of this and I'm oh, just going to put it on and spread it around with my fingers. Now, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I do it with my skincare. Why don't I do it with my foundation? I don't know. I just don't. But this foundation is so beautiful and so effortless that I think it's going to be perfect. All right, so that was one pump and I still have makeup left behind on my hand. That's how very little I used. Now it did spread nicely. This is obviously not how I normally do things, but I like it. It's just evening things out, kind of taking down the redness, which is great. Now she said that because they don't use much, if any foundation, they don't use primer. So, okay, we'll see how long this lasts on top of my sunscreen right now. I think it's fine, totally fine. Now, she said that the one thing that they will do for sure is conceal, and the concealer of choice is the YSL Touche Cloth. I have wanted this forever and ever and ever, and it's not like outrageously expensive. I think it's like $38. As you can see, I haven't even used it yet. But for some reason, I've just never bothered to pick it up. And I'm glad I finally had like the opportunity slash reason to do so. Let's get this primed. Now, Andrea said that French women absolutely use concealer. So I'm pleased about that. Now they, she said they use this one here because it's not so much for the actual like concealing. It's more for just like brightening and a light camouflage. Now right straight in, I am a little brightened and I do have like a little bit of purple like right in this area here. So this isn't going to cover that much. Now there is another Touche Claw, which is like a higher coverage concealer. That's not the one they choose to use. It is this one here. Now you can also use this for actual highlighting, like cheekbones, nose, that sort of thing. But French women actually aren't into highlight either. All right, so can you see from this eye to this eye the slight difference? I like it, I think it's pretty. I mean, this is really nice. It's not, you know, cakey. 
it feels kind of moisturizing, hydrating. I don't think it's going to dry down weird. So far, I like this. Kicking myself that I haven't purchased this before in my life, but whatever. There's so many products. I can only have so many things at once. Now, another thing she said is that eyebrows are not a big deal, especially women 45 to 50. They just don't do anything to them. If they're, you know, women are younger, Benefit is a huge brand there. So women are doing their eyebrows, you know, if they're under 45. Well, we know what a tragic situation my eyebrows are. So I did do them. I did go in with the makeup by Mario that I love to use. Where's the rest of it? You know, these two gems. I will have to tidy up when we're done. But listen, if I was going to do like this easy makeup for every day, I would would definitely do my eyebrows. I mean, I just have to. All right. I didn't go crazy with the touch-up of the eyebrows. She said the one thing that Parisian women love is bronzer. And I was like, girl, I'm with you. Now for them, the bronzer of choice is Guerlain's Terracotta. Now the one that she showed had, it was one of those compacts that had like several shades in it. It was like, you know, the nice brown shade. Then it looked like there was like a pink shade, then maybe some sort of like a creamy shade. You know, you mix them all together for this gorgeous glow. The US link that she gave for the Guerlain compact of bronzer at our Sephora is just a plain brown bronzer. As a matter of fact, it has like a little red undertone to it. And I knew immediately that would not be good for me. Red undertones and bronzers. This time of year, especially when I'm so pasty, it looks like I've got clay on my face. Maybe if I was like a little more freckly, it would be fine, but not this time of year. So I will be using my own bronzers. I'm going to use the Say Sun Melt because I just think it's a pretty and very easy, effortless bronzer to use. I just love using cream bronzers. There's just something, they leave behind this, this beautiful glow, but it's not shiny or anything. She also mentioned that French women don't like to glow. They don't like highlighter. They don't like shine, which is fine. I don't need to glow all the time. I just don't want to be matte. Now she said one of the reasons they love bronzer is because they just love looking tan, having a sun-kissed look all the time, which who doesn't? God, it's gorgeous. I don't get to have that because sunscreen. She also said that French women don't use blush. They think it's clownish. I love blush. But for French women in today's video, I will forgo my love of blush and I will embrace their love of bronzer and go in. She said they also don't contour. It's just all about making the face warm, not reshaping the features. Guess what else French women don't like? Eye makeup. So because of that, I'm just gonna take whatever's left on this brush and just go over my eyes because my eyelids are actually lighter than the rest of my face and it looks crazy if I don't address them at all when I'm doing like a very no makeup type of makeup day. All right, three products in and I'm already happy with how it's going. Now, because she said that the French women do not like shine, I'm actually gonna take down some of it using my um, Charlotte Tilbury bronze powder. This is the airbrush bronzer in the shade two. And I just wanna set the bronzer and take down any sort of shine or glow. I gotta say, so far I'm enjoying this like pared down version of how I do my makeup. I'm not trying to copy the French women, but I'm definitely trying to take inspiration from them because effortless, chic, I would love that. Now I, listen, there's nothing about me that screams French, but I just wanna feel effortless, even though effort goes into being effortless. All right, now because French women do not like to shine or glow, Andrea says, they will powder down in like the T-zone and kind of mattify things down. However, they never use loose powder. They usually use like compacts. She had actually used the Charlotte Tilbury, but since I don't have that on hand and I wasn't gonna purchase it just for this video, I'm using the dupe, which is the number seven. You've seen me use it many times. So I'm just going to take down the shine in the center of my face. And I'm not looking to, you know, get that whole powdery vibe. I'm just not even setting because she said they don't set their makeup because they're not really wearing a lot of makeup. They're just taking down any shine that there might be on their skin. All right, so I've taken the shine down. Very happy with that. Next thing they do that they love is mascara. And I'm 100% in with their love of mascara. And she said, actually, one of the mascaras of choice is the Dior Show. You know the Dior Show iconic overcurl and waterproof is my ride or die, has been for years, so I'm happy to have that. 
But the other thing she said that they will do is they will use like a black eyeliner pencil just right in their lash line. However, if they use a black liner, they won't wear lipstick. And I want to have a lipstick on to kind of brighten up the face. So I'm going to do as the girls do, a no eyeliner, but I will wear lipstick. All right, let's just get these lashes curled and mascara Seriously, I have like little remnants of my brush all over my face. You could have told me. I think that brush is dead to me. She's gonna have to go in the garbage because she's shedding like this. Terrible. You were dead to me. Mm-hmm, in my hair. All right, now the last thing that a French woman would do is the lip. Now the lip of choice apparently is Dior's number 999 in velvet. It is this beautiful shade of red and I was just gonna go buy it. I went to the store, picked it up and I swatched it and it was actually too orange for me. So why am I gonna get a shade of red that is not complimentary to my skin? So I actually went back to my own stash and I found my Patrick Ta. This is a That's Why She's Late. It is this a beautiful velvety red shade. As you can see, it's more of a blue undertone, which is better for the cool tones in my skin. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, she said they don't wear lip liner and like, that has me freaking out because a red lip without a lip liner is dangerous. She did, however, say that they put a little bit on and like smudge it around their finger. So I think we can manage. All right, get the lip balm off. All right, here we go, fingers crossed. Ah, <sighs> mm, danger, danger. I mean, it does help that I had my lip balm on while I was doing the rest of my makeup because my lips are smooth. And so this does move around easily. We're getting there. Okay, now I'm gonna blot it because I don't want it to be like red. I just want it to be like more of a tint stain type of red. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. And this is it. Uh, this is all that goes into a Parisian woman's everyday look. And I gotta say, I kind of like it a lot. Now, would I maybe tweak some things for myself? Yeah, maybe I wouldn't wear a red lip all the time. Maybe I would wear a pink lip or a fuchsia lip. I would definitely wear a lip of color. I wouldn't go with a nude. Probably wouldn't even go with like a pinky nude. I like the bright pop of lip against like the non-existent eye except for the lashes. This is obviously not a look you are used to seeing on me, but I wanna know what you think. Do you think this is something that I should continue doing in my everyday? Is this something that you would do? Or are you already doing this? I literally have to take my dog to the vet in like, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes, and I'm going like this. I like it, I like it a lot. It is rare that I can say this, but my entire look can be held in my hand. That has never happened to me, I don't think. All right, friends, I think this is the super easy transitional into spring French chic look I'm gonna be carrying on for a while. I love it. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and I will, of course, link all the products that I used in the description box below. Now, if you enjoyed seeing me doing this look, I definitely think you should take a look at Andrea's channel. I, of course, will link this video below that I am inspired by, but her channel is full of so much beauty, information, product reviews, knowledge. It's just, it's a treasure trove. I've been like taking a deep dive and I'm super into her channel. All right, friends, that's all for today. I wanna thank you so much for being with me and I'll see you real soon. Mwah.